Emerging from the olive groves of Sicily to the glitz of New York, the Mafia rose from a local protection gang to an international criminal organization. It all began in the sun-drenched landscape of Sicily, a picturesque island off the southern coast of Italy. In the mid-19th century, the island was riddled with political corruption and lawlessness. Out of this chaos, a system of protection and justice emerged, cultivated by groups of men who were later known as the mafiosi. These men offered protection to local businesses in exchange for loyalty and a share of profits. It was a primitive form of organized crime, but it was effective. With time, the influence of these groups grew, spreading like the roots of the olive trees they once sheltered under. Migration played a significant role in the Mafia's growth. In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, thousands of Italians, including Sicilians, immigrated to America in search of a better life. Among them were members of the Mafia, who saw the bustling streets of America as fertile ground for their operations. In the New World, the Mafia adapted to their surroundings. They traded the olive groves for the crowded tenements of New York City, and their small-scale protection rackets evolved into sophisticated criminal enterprises. They infiltrated labor unions, controlled illicit liquor trade during Prohibition, and led gambling and prostitution rings. The Mafia's power grew exponentially during the early 20th century, fueled by the vast wealth they amassed from their criminal activities. They were no longer just a local gang, they had become a formidable criminal organization with their tentacles spread across America and beyond. In the blink of an eye, the Mafia evolved from a local gang to a force to be reckoned with. Their rise to power was swift and ruthless, but it was just the beginning of a dark and complex saga that would continue to unfold over the next century. Family, more than a symbol of kinship, was the cornerstone of the Mafia empire. At its core, the Mafia was not merely a criminal organization, but a complex web of familial ties. It was this intricate network that built the foundation of the Mafia Empire, cementing its power and influence. Let's delve into the heart of this underworld, where five major Mafia families reigned supreme. Each family, a formidable entity in itself, was bound by blood ties, mutual loyalty, and a palpable sense of fear. These were not just families in the traditional sense, they were intricate hierarchies of power held together by unbreakable bonds of loyalty and obedience. The Gambinos, the Bananos, the Columbos, the Genoveses, and the Lucchesis each held sway over their territories, their power reaching into every corner of society. These families operated not out of blind ambition, but a profound sense of duty and allegiance. They were driven by assured belief that loyalty to the family superseded all else, even the law. In these families, betrayal was the highest crime, a transgression punishable by death. This fear of retribution ensured a strict code of silence, the Omerta. This unwritten law was the glue that held the empire together, keeping its secrets safe from outsiders. The Mafia was not just an organization, it was a family, and that was its strength. In the world of the Mafia, blood was thicker than water and loyalty was the currency of survival. There was a method to the Mafia's madness, a dangerous art to their crime. The Mafia was not a chaotic organization of thugs, but a well-oiled machine that moved with precision and purpose. Their criminal operations were carefully crafted, each detail meticulously planned and executed. Take, for instance, the Mafia's illegal dealings. They were masters of the black market, trading everything from drugs to weapons to stolen goods. But it wasn't just about the trade. The Mafia was known for their ability to control these underground markets, setting prices and deciding who gets a piece of the action. Extortion was another tool in the Mafia's arsenal. They ruled through fear, forcing businesses to pay a protection fee or a pizza in return for safety from the very violence the Mafia itself could bring. It was a twisted form of insurance, where the insurer was also the threat. And let's not forget about the assassinations. The Mafia's hits were not random acts of violence. They were strategic moves, designed to eliminate threats, assert dominance, or send a message. Each hit was a chess move in the larger game of power and control. In the hands of the Mafia, crime was transformed into a dangerous art form. It was a dark ballet of illegal dealings, extortion, and assassinations, each move carefully choreographed for maximum impact. The Mafia, in their own twisted way, were artists of crime. Their canvas was the underworld, their paintbrush was fear, and their masterpiece was power. The Mafia pulled the strings of the dark economy, blurring the lines between right and wrong. They were the unseen conductors orchestrating a symphony of shattered transactions. Mm -hmm.
their influence reaching far beyond the confines of their clandestine meetings. Imagine a puppet show, but instead of marionettes, the strings are attached to the economy of entire cities. The Mafia had their hands on every lever of power, manipulating the flow of money and resources with a dexterity that was both terrifying and impressive. From legitimate businesses to illicit trades, their grip was felt everywhere. They controlled unions, infiltrated financial institutions, and even had their hands in the construction industry. But it didn't stop there. They also manipulated the very lifeblood of a city, its people. Through fear, corruption, and sometimes even loyalty, they could make a city dance to their tune. Their power was not absolute, though. These puppet masters faced opposition from law enforcement, rival organizations, and sometimes even from within their own ranks. Yet they adapted, evolved, and continued to pull the strings from the shadows. The mafia of manipulation of the dark economy was a testament to their resourcefulness and cunning. They were puppet masters, making cities dance to their tune. Despite the challenges they faced, their influence remained a formidable force, a dark undercurrent in the flow of money and power. The relationship between the mafia and Hollywood is a complex one, shaping our perceptions of the underworld. From the glamour of the Roaring Twenties to the gritty realism of the 70s, Hollywood has always been fascinated by the Mafia. The allure of the underworld, the thrill of danger, and the moral ambiguity of crime have provided fodder for filmmakers for decades. Mafia-themed films like The Godfather and Goodfellas have left indelible marks on our collective consciousness. These films didn't just entertain, they painted a picture of the Mafia world, portraying it with a mix of fear, respect, and even a touch of glamour. The Godfather, with its tale of family, power, and corruption, gave us an intimate look into the workings of a Mafia family. Goodfellas, on the other hand, offered a raw, unflinching view of the Mafia lifestyle, filled with violence, betrayal, and fleeting glory. These films and others like them have shaped our understanding of the Mafia. They've given us iconic characters, unforgettable lines, and a glimpse into a world that is both terrifying and fascinating but they've also blurred the lines between fact and fiction, between the cinematic mafia and the real-world organized crime. Our perceptions of the mafia had been shaped by the silver screen. Whether this portrayal is accurate or merely a romanticized version of the truth is a question that continues to captivate us. The mafia's influence reached into the heart of politics, altering the course of nations. This might sound like a plot of a gripping thriller, but it's a grim reality that has been played out on the world stage. The intertwining of the mafia and politics is a tale of power, corruption, and profound manipulation. You see, the mafia didn't just content themselves with running illicit businesses or controlling the dark economy. They understood that real, unassailable power lay in politics. By infiltrating political systems, they could shape policies, manipulate law enforcement, and even influence the fate of nations. Let's delve into the history of this unholy alliance. From the early days, Mafia bosses cozied up to politicians, offering them financial support, votes, and even muscle in return for political protection. These partnerships weren't limited to local or state-level politics. They reached right up to national governments, with Mafia-connected politicians found in the highest offices of power. This collusion had profound implications. It allowed the Mafia to operate with relative impunity, while the politicians turned a blind eye to their activities. Mafia influence molded policy decisions, often in ways that benefited their illegal enterprises. The Mafia's reach went beyond crime, into the very heart of our political systems. Their influence, while less visible today, is a stark reminder of the dangers of unchecked power and corruption. The Mafia have evolved, trading gunfire for cybercrime, adapting to a new era, this is no longer the age of Tommy guns and speakeasies, but rather an era marked by the quiet hum of computers and the invisible threads of the internet. The Mafia, however, remains a formidable force, adapting its operations to suit the digital age. In place of violent turf wars, we now see battles for control of cyber territories and online markets. The weapons of choice have shifted from guns to keyboards, from physical threats to digital ones. Cybercrime has become the new frontier, with everything from identity theft to online fraud becoming part of the Mafia's modern arsenal. But this shift to the digital realm has also led to a different kind of individuality. The Mafia, once a visible and tangible presence in certain communities, has become a more covert network, hidden behind layers of encryption and anonymity. Its operations, once local and territorial, are now global, 
reaching far beyond traditional geographical boundaries. Yet, this evolution does not mean that the Mafia has become less dangerous. Quite the contrary, its ability to adapt, to evolve, to keep pace with technological advancements, only serves to underscore the enduring nature of this criminal enterprise. The Mafia has adapted, evolved, and continues to thrive in the shadows. The culture of the Mafia has a deadly charm, influencing global trends in music and fashion. Its dark allure is not confined to the shadows of crime, but has crept into the spotlight of our daily lives. The Mafia's influence seeps into our music, our movies, our style, and even our language. It is, in a sense, a cultural phenomenon that has transcended its criminal origins. From the gritty streets of New York to the chic boutiques of Milan, the Mafia's influence is palpable. It's in the swagger of a rap artist, the design of a sleek suit, and the plot of a blockbuster movie. This influence has not only shaped our perception of the Mafia, but has also, ironically, glamorized a lifestyle that is far from glamorous. There are those who betray the Mafia, risking everything to expose its secrets. These brave or perhaps foolish souls are the informants, the insiders who turn their back on a life of crime to bring the truth to light. Their stories are as diverse as they are, but one common thread binds them, the desire to escape the clutches of the Mafia. From the early days of the Sicilian Mafia, there were those who whispered secrets to the authorities, their identities shrouded in mystery and their motives often unclear. Some sought protection, others revenge, and a few were driven by a simple desire for redemption. In the turbulent 1980s, the tide began to turn against the Mafia with the rise of the Pentiti, former mafiosi who cooperated with the authorities in exchange for leniency. Their testimonies led to hundreds of arrests, shaking the Mafia to its core. Yet the decision to betray the Mafia is not one made lightly. The consequences can be severe, and often deadly. From the infamous stool pigeons of the Prohibition era to the whistleblowers of today, informants live in the shadow of fear, their lives forever marked by their act of defiance. Despite the risks, these informants play a pivotal role in the ongoing battle against organized crime. Their courage and sacrifice have given us invaluable insights into the inner workings of the Mafia, providing a glimmer of hope in the dark underworld of crime. In the dangerous world of the Mafia, betrayal can be a deadly game. The Mafia has not vanished into the annals of history. It continues to adapt and evolve. In the face of technology and globalization, this notorious criminal organization is not being left behind. Instead, it's transforming, adjusting, and innovating to maintain its power and influence in the modern world. In the digital age, the Mafia is evolving beyond traditional methods of crime. Cybercrime is the new frontier, with lucrative opportunities in hacking, identity theft, and online fraud. This new wave of crime is less violent, but just as destructive, affecting millions of people around the globe. The Mafia is also adjusting to the global economy, exploiting the vulnerabilities of international trade and finance. This has allowed them to expand their operations, infiltrate new markets, and diversify their criminal activities. But as the Mafia evolves, so does the fight against it. Law enforcement agencies around the world are using advanced technologies, intelligence sharing, and innovative strategies to combat this evolving threat. The battle is far from over, and the outcome is anything but certain. The future of the Mafia is difficult to predict. It may continue to evolve and adapt, becoming more sophisticated and complex, or it may face decline, as the forces of law and order become increasingly effective. But one thing is clear, the Mafia continues to evolve, ready to adapt to whatever the future may bring. The battle between justice and crime is an eternal one, and the pursuit of the Mafia is part of that struggle. Throughout history, we've seen this tug of war play out in the shadows of society. The Mafia, elusive and adapting, always seems to be one step ahead. Yet law enforcement, relentless and determined, tirelessly works to bring them to justice. There is no absolute darkness, only the relentless pursuit of light. And in this game of cat and mouse with the Mafia, the pursuit never ends.